Okay. You know who it is. You know who it is. You know. You know. You know who it is. You know who it is. This is Zio. Zio. Zio Kazuma. Live. On a Friday. On a Friday. I'm here to say that today is probably okay Friday. You know, people out there trick or treating, Halloween, and all that other good stuff. Alright. I'm going to say this. For Friday, I would say it like this. That, um, pretty much. I have something to talk about. Last week was about secrets. Today is about lies. Because it follow up with it. Because, I mean, you have, alright. I'm going to put it this way. I have friends that I don't trust. Pretty much. Well, and it's like I scratch your back you scratch my back but I don't understand I scratch your back you scratch my back but I do good things for you hey you want to go out to GameStop sure let's go I use my metro card, my metro card, and then you take it to the whole new level by just, I mean, if anybody lives in New York, it, it, it's it's a thing that you do, it's like you swipe your card and take a bus, like an MTA bus, you know, those things, and then you swipe, you go, you're done, and you get in the bus and stuff, but I feel like you take advantage of somebody, that's like stealing their money. You steal their money, and it's like, wait a minute, I just bought you lunch, and you're going to go to my wallet and steal more money from me? What's the point? It's like, how can we be friends? How can we hang out if you do things like that? That's why I feel like there's no point of you asking for me. There's no point of you asking me, saying, hey, you know, I want to hang out with you. You're a cool guy. I'm cool because I don't steal from you. I'm cool because, you know, I don't do all this stupid things and just lie in front of your face and like, oh, I never, no. So it's always something that you can't, you can't really just go around it and say, oh, it's not. Hmm. Okay. I got my bank card, you know, because I'm, I'm just saying, because it's like a friendship thing, it's really hard this generation, because we always steal, we envy, because if your friend is doing well, and you're not, whose fault is that, it's your fault, because you don't push yourself to that next level, like, oh, I want to be just like him, I mean, like, don't be jelly, don't get mad that you can't do what he's doing, it's because... Not everybody gets to do what they, you know. Not everybody gets to do what they want. You know what I mean? It's just that you sit in your home, you don't do anything, and you're watching TV, you're on your phone, all that. It really, really, really gets to the point that you can't just do anything because you sit at home. You don't do anything. But you see other people. You see your friends doing something. You see their friends becoming successful. And you're like, oh, my friends are becoming successful. Not me. Stop being jealous. You're only being jealous because you're not getting what you want. Now, in a relationship way, yes, that's also true. Because sometimes we lie to get into relationships. Like, um, 
I wouldn't say I lied, but there was this girl that I met two years, well, last well, last year, and pretty much she did not want to talk to me no more because of this year. She thought I was stupid or crazy because with some mis miscommunication because I told her that, you know, hey, I don't feel good. You know? So she just took it from another way and just thought that, oh, well, I told her, I just don't feel good. I feel like I needed some space to think because, you know, there's other things I got to do. You know, I do this every Friday. I upload my videos. I am always going to say this. I usually don't say this on my videos all the time, but I'm going to say this. You know, you can just subscribe to my videos and other thing I also say is, is that if you don't like my advices, you don't have to watch these videos. Because these videos are for people who are down. People who can't figure out what to do with their lives. Because, look, your friends can lie to you. Your boyfriend can lie to you. Your girlfriend can lie to you. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your friends. They can steal from you. So it's, it's always hard for us in this generation to actually, you know, say that we have friends. That's why some of us want new friends because it's easier to make new friends and trust them. When you've been hanging out with that person for like three or four years, trust me, their true color will show. So that's why, I mean, I loved her, but we cut off our communications since last year. This year we just, reconnected our communication and now it's like she wants to cut off communication with me because I told her how I felt about her and she just wanted to see like I'm lying but how's that a lie how I'm it's because oh I'm just telling you now that I love you no it was because in the past I did and it's like how but we never talked for that long in the past. So it's hard for me to say, yes, I did in the past. Because if I still kept communications, if we were still talking, yes, I would have told you in the past. But things have changed. So that's a few things that you have to watch out. Because guys will lie, girls will lie, we all lie. For what reasons? There's no answer to it. But I'll give you a few answers for that. Number one, we lie because we don't want to hurt their feelings in a relationship. Number two, we lie because they're the only ones that care about us. That's not true because, I mean, I could lie to you and say that, you know, I am not a guy who cheated before. Well, if you told that person that you never cheated before, but she finds out from your friends, she's like, oh, you cheated before? So you lied, you lied to me. So it, it's always good to tell them the truth, but if you explain and they understand, sometimes, sometimes when you explain somebody the truth, they will still think that it's still in that category. You're a smoker. You're a liar. You're a cheater. You... Whatever. You know what I mean? So I felt like, for me, I've done it. But I wouldn't say I cheated. But, like I said, you tell the story. Your story is fit into one category. So, if you cheated... And you didn't mean to cheat, and it was an accident, you cheated. You kissed a girl, and you didn't mean to kiss the girl even though you were dating, you still kissed her. Same thing as if you smoke. You smoke, you smoke. Even though you try to say, uh, yeah, well, it was just a little hit. No, you still smoke a cigarette. So, it, 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 it's, it's always those little things that we try to maneuver and say, we did. Well, it wasn't. Like, I intentionally... No, you did it. You didn't think, you did it. 
So, I'm going to say this. It's not good to lie to your friends. Because you think that you know this person for so long. You don't even know yourself. Oh, it's true. It's true. You don't know yourself. You think you know yourself, but you don't. Why? Number one. Everybody would always think they know themselves or they think they know their friends. But no, you don't know yourself and you don't know your friend. Because if you do really know your friend, you won't let your friend steal money from you. You won't let your friend lie in front of your face. So it's always good to always, always know who your true friends are. I mean, I've been doing this for, for a while now. I've been making these videos. And I'm going to say this. If you like my advices, take it. If you don't, then don't watch my videos. But if you do, subscribe if you want more of these things. Because I also do quotes. Um, I'm going to end it soon. But, you know, it's Friday. So, a lot of people are doing a lot of cool things on a Friday. I'm going to say it like this. It's not good. Mm-mm. It's not good. It's not good for you to lie in front of my face. Because think about it. You have that one friend who's always telling the truth. Who's always nice to you. But you do something to them. Why would you want to hurt them? Why? They never hurt you at all. Never. they always been nice to you. They do the nice things. But you will hurt that person in the long run. Or maybe in the future. Whatever. You hurt that person why you lie you steal you you know what i mean it 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 it's like we don't really care who our friends are we making sure that we're satisfied so if i steal money from you it seems like oh you're cool with it oh you're cool that i just took money from you right oh you're cool that I can take your, you know, your metro card and swipe my, swipe your card and take the bus and go to the city. If you live in New York, you will know what metro card is. No, that's not cool. Because a guy who is honest and does nice things and lets you borrow things, that person wants the truth, wants to know, and wants the honesty and say, hey, where is this? You know what I mean? Like, where's my money? You know what I mean? Because it's like, I know if somebody lost their phone, if somebody lost their, uh, what's their, their money. I mean, you would have questioned your friends. You'd be like, where's my money? Where's my money? And all this, the cops would have get involved in all the crazy things. And, you know. So, I'm going to put it like this. Do not associate. I don't associate. But all I'm going to say like this. I don't associate with people like that. But the truth is, it's always good to know your And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to keep saying it in every video. It's going to get boring, but it's the truth. I can wear this shirt with this, with this sign on it, with this logo and everything. I can wear this constantly every single day you see this shirt you see this shirt right i can wear this shirt constantly now is it going to get boring maybe but why because i never change i never change i'm still the same person because i wear this shirt now this is just an example and a metaphor saying that if i don't change and become nice and stop stealing or lying to you then you're gonna see me wear this shirt you're gonna hear me lie and you're gonna see me steal again now if I don't if I stop lying I stop stealing I don't wear this shirt I don't wear this shirt every freaking Friday you will see me wear different shirts different colors different designs all that but if I do not if I do not change this clothes if I don't change my shirt 
I'm lying to you, I'm stealing, and all that. And that's the same thing with a relationship. Because I know, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say like, oh, my father was a nice man to my mom. But, I mean, he lied to my mom constantly, cheated on my mother. First marriage, cheated. Second marriage, cheated. But my mom, she was strong in the second marriage and said, hey, you know what? I'm out. But I'm going to put it like this. In a relationship, don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't steal. And don't break her heart. That's for the guy. And that goes for the ladies. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't steal. And don't break his heart. Don't try to think that you're only there for the money. And guys, don't think that, oh, you're going to make the girls become your maid and let the girls do everything for you. Come on. Come on. Because in this generation, we're cutting off the conversation. We're cutting off the whole let's talk let's have fun let's cut it off no it's not that it's all about let's fuck i'm gonna bash that pussy into so many places like i don't care anymore i want the conversation i'm the old-fashioned hey you want to go to the movies and it's raining i'm gonna get out of my car and make sure the umbrella is open oh you want to cross the street to go to a restaurant? I want to make sure that I have my jacket, my coat, and put it on top of the puddle. My jacket is on, is on the top. The puddle is on the bottom. You walk across my jacket. It's fine. I know some of these people, these generations, like, I spent my money buying that jacket. No. Who cares? Who cares? Now, if you don't want to do that, you can hold her hand and walk around. Walk around the puddle. So, what? Can, no, no, no. Now, I would like some comments because I haven't gotten any comments, but I would like some comments below. And, and, and you tell me what you think about this. Because right now in this generation why are we not going back to the old-fashioned style of dating where we get to talk to the person get to know the person and everything no it's all about i want to get in that no because i feel like we lie just to do just to get what we want now the next person that's get into the relationship oh girl's gonna look at it he's the same thing no, I am not like the, the other guy. You know what I mean? Guys will say the same thing. Oh, the girl is just like... No, she's not like the other girl. They're totally two different. Same thing with the guys. We're not dogs. Now, friends... Mm -mm. Gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with your friends. Because you don't know your friends. You don't know yourself. And I'm gonna say one... Mo, I'm gonna say one more time. I'm gonna say one more time. Do you want me to wear this shirt? I will wear this shirt constantly. And why? Because I'm gonna lie to you. I'm gonna steal from you. I'll make sure your heart is broken. I'll make sure that you're crushed to the point that you have nothing to live for. Because I didn't change. I wear the same shirt. I wear the same shirt constantly because I didn't change. Now, if I wear different clothes, I change. You know why I change? Because I became a nice person. So, now that we got that street and figured it out, now think to yourselves, is she my friend? Or he's my friend? Is he my boyfriend? Or is she my girlfriend? Think to yourself. Think about the things. Now, this is a good thing to do. Make a list. Cut it down in the middle. Good and bad. It could be friends or it could be a relationship thing. 
write down the good things they have done and write down the bad things. Now, try to have a conversation with them. You know, call them, text them, KIK, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Whatever to keep a conversation or whatever you contact that person with. Talk to them and try to figure out what they did wrong and try to correct them. Now, if they don't want to be corrected, you gotta let them know. Because right now, it's time to do some quotes. Gonna have to some quotes. Gonna have to some quotes. Hey! Let's do some quotes. Alright. Here's the quote of the day. The quote of the day is Never lie to someone who trusts you. Never trust someone who lies to you. See? Never lie to someone who trusts you. So, if I trust you, don't lie to me. Now, never trust somebody who lies to you. So, if you're going to keep lying to me, I'm not going to trust you. So, that is the quote of the day. Never lie to someone who trusts you. And never trust someone who lies to you. So, take the time to know yourself. Make a list, good, bad, and then talk to the person and tell the person what they have done. Now that they don't want to take the truth, then they're not for you. So, all I got to say is, know who your friends, know who is your girlfriend, and know who is your boyfriend. So... Hey, Zio is saying, never lie. So I'm going to say, Happy Halloween! Zio signing out.